date and time. What? Date and time. Oh. It is March 4th. May the 4th uh, be with you. 7.44 a.m. Uh, and we are on the road to Seattle. Uh, we're like, what? I'd say like an hour away, less than an hour. Or no, we're on the road to Linwood. We're like less than an hour away from the surgery center. Now today is not the surgery though. It is the pre-op appointment. So we're going to go over like all of the things that the surgery um, involves, like all the different procedures, and then um, like signing paperwork, and, like all the pre, pre-op pre and post-op instructions, stuff like that. So like basically just getting prepared for like what is to come. She's a gusher. I feel like you're the paparazzi. No pictures, please. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. You're freaking out? A little bit. I'm super excited. Are you? Really? For you. Really? You're yeah. Like Patient only be on this plane. I'm not the patient. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's stick this up in here. Alright, now the first thing that we're gonna do together um, is to go over paperwork together. Okay. And then after we go over the paperwork, um, we'll go over some pre and post operative instructions, okay? Um, so I'll go ahead and explain each form with you since there are quite a bit of forms for you to complete. Okay. And then um, I will step out and leave the room to give you some time to complete them. And then when I come back, I'll look through to double check them and then we'll go from there. Um, so this here, first consent form is gonna be the consent for the procedure itself. So here at the top, we're doing the submental plasty, rhinoplasty, frontal brow bone reduction, um, brow lift with endotine, lip lift, hairline, um, lowering and bilateral buccal fat pad removal and the chin implant as well. Falls through or does something bad, they'll, will they fix it or? Yeah, of course. So doctor prides himself of his work. So okay. it it's we take all situations like that on a case to case basis. Mm -hmm. So um, of course, you know, we'll follow you throughout the year just to see how things are um, settling. And mm -hmm. if if there's any revisions that need to come up, then of course, we'll address it. You're doing general anesthesia, mm -hmm. which means you'll be completely asleep during the procedure. Okay. Um, okay. Signature. I'm just gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. Have you never practiced? It's it? an A and a W, and the rest of it is scribbles. <laughs> you're gonna. <laughs> you're like, you told me to film everything, so we're gonna get like a good shot. Oh, that's so much better. But we're gonna. Today's May 4th. We are exactly, wait, is it exactly three weeks away from surgery? I think. Oh, I need a calendar. I'm not even paying attention. I'm glad I pulled my calendar up there. One, two, three. Three weeks away. Uh, 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 good counting. Because I'm looking You know what, the first time though, when I signed this, when I was just having the consultation, I cried because I was scared. But this time I'm like, eh, I can handle it. I can handle knowing that I might die. There's like a such a small chance. <laughs> it's not even. Last one. <laughs> okay, done. Perfect. Alrighty. Hey, take care. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh my God, what, three weeks? These dictionary things do not tell you what for anything. It doesn't say dictionary, it says directory. <laughs> dictionary, directory, what the uh, uh, gusher. Three more weeks. Right now. Pick up your mouth so we can breathe this beautiful fresh air. Actually, it feels really great out here. And I'm actually like really into this whole atmosphere right now. I feel I, I feel like a celebrity. Like like I've got a little camera through, like a mini camera through right here. <laughs> That was beautiful. Yes, it was. So today is May 22nd. So I am pretty much three days away from surgery. Uh, we are driving up in two days. It's super, super emotional for me, specifically during the coronavirus pandemic. I really enjoyed having the mask on because uh, I was misgendered less uh, with the mask on, if, as long as I didn't talk. Uh, but I, I post pictures and videos on the internet and I have a filter over it every single time. I've had such a problem with my face for so long that, I don't know, I just I've had a fucking problem. I don't show my face, my real face, uh, on social media at all because I'm not okay with the way I look. The hormones did a little bit uh, to my face, but not enough that uh, it gave me the confidence to be able to look in the mirror at my own self. Like, I feel like people think that I am doing this for other people so that other people will see me as a woman and that is not the case I could care less what the fuck anyone else thinks it has nothing to do with that I want to be able to look in the mirror and see a woman I it's very hard to not cry I've cried almost every single day for the last past years um, just recently though what in the last month I've been crying happy tears obviously because I get to do something that's just something that I thought about my dreams like things that I just saw in my dreams that I just never thought would ever be possible I just can't wait for this to be over I just I want to wake up and I want to feel like a new person. I'm tired of living in this body that's not right. For a lot of people, it's so hard to understand where I would come from and why I can't just love what I am right now. And I don't know. I just don't know how to explain it. Three days away. days I I'm scared I'm excited I don't know how to feel I'm just all over the place with my emotions right. so May 24th at 2:05 p.m. <laughs> We're gonna go find Bigfoot. We are now passing yeah, we're Yakima. Right now. Yakima. Okay, so <laughs> we're just passing Yakima. What are your feelings and thoughts going into surgery? Really, that's why you're here, Christian. I'm half, half nervous and half excited because I don't want to die, obviously. And they 
they tell you that on every surgery that you could possibly die, but that's like a scary thing to think about. Um, I'm not, I'm not like, okay, like two months ago, I was so scared that I was psyching myself out almost. And now that part of the scariness is like gone. And now it's just like, I just want to get it over with and just wake up and just be done. And then I can just go home and then I'll be good. How do you think this will affect your life slash transition? Well, obviously, because uh, I work at the mall, and so I see a lot of people on a daily basis, and usually, like, I'd say, like, 10 or 15 times a day, people either laugh at me or uh, say rude things to me or whatever, and I feel like after the surgery, it won't be as noticeable that I'm transgender, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier to not walk into the office and cry, because I do that sometimes. Mentally, it'll be better just because I, I don't like looking in the mirror, um, and I pick apart my face, like, I'm, you know, because I'll look in the mirror for too long and then I'll just start crying, so it'll just be easier to look in the mirror to myself. than I am today, and that's that's pretty great. <laughs> Things are like having this weird exchange, <laughs> long, prolonged eye contact that I don't have time for. <laughs> I light it up time. I love it. Makes me uh, just so. Um, I'm just really glad that tomorrow when I get back from surgery. I have an excuse for at least three weeks to not have to wear a bra. I don't gotta go nowhere. I don't gotta get up. You don't gotta be nobody. Don't you have to sleep sitting up? Yeah, for, oh. I think the first week is the rule. I don't think you have to sleep sitting up the whole time for the rest of your life. How do you train your body to do that? Uh, Hello. Be toward Madison Street and Convention Place. I hope you can turn on the bra. That is so cool. And the second frame from right. May 24th, 10.35 p.m. <laughs> I like making stupid videos. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and then zoom in real close. View. I feel like this could be end up really awkward. So you're going to have to like maybe say something that I have to respond to because then it will be easy for them. It's not easy just staring at this camera and just hoping that I can think of something that I should say. Is there anything in particular that you want us to know about your surgery? <laughs> anything particular? Yeah. That I'm scared? <laughs> okay. Uh. What are your feelings and thoughts going into surgery now? Oh. Now that we're closer? Oh. Um. How many hours are we away? Ooh, give me one second. Let me just take a peek because I have it still listed. Seven hours, 23 minutes. Uh, well, technically it's not. The surgery will start like not at exactly 6 a.m. But 
I had the clock set for 6 a.m. So basically like here and in the next nine hours. Feelings and thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, my feelings and thoughts are I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, my friends were here earlier and they made me feel a little better because uh, Victoria was like, uh, just don't think about it. Just just do it. Just get it over with and do it. And just, you're going to wake up and you're like, I fucking did it. So that'd be good, right? Yep. <laughs> I feel like that's the only way, because I feel like if I think too much about it, get too scared, I'm just going to be like, nope, we're not doing it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Facebook. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. So, no water or food or nothing until after surgery. And then it says on my post-op uh, uh, little sheet thing, it says, uh, so only sips of water for the first ooh, couple hours. Or after? Like 30 minutes. I don't know exactly. I'll have to read it again. But, but yeah. Here we go. And now I'm gonna go to sleep. So we'll we'll film more tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh. Bye. March twenty-fifth. It's about five thirty-five in the morning. Andrea, oh. how are you feeling right now? <laughs> uh, I'm okay. That's good. I'm just gonna bite the bullet and just pretend like I'm not scared. Because <laughs> that'll make me not scared. You got this. We are almost there. How many minutes? Maybe 10 minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, my like mom says. Down the street. All right, sounds good. All right, bye. Just making sure that you're coming. Yeah. So nice to have. He's in the <laughs> oh my <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> she fucking shoved that shit so far. She said it's only gonna go an inch, and then she goes. <laughs> I kind of noticed that you kind of backed up a bit there, and that's when she was like, "Oh, just hold so still." <laughs> I set an alarm for earlier, but I didn't wake up. And then I was like, oh my god, why is Amy calling me over and over again? Oh my god. So we're here. Wait, why aren't you there? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> why are you there? Instead of COVID tests, that's what she's sneezing out so much. I need to grab my glasses so I can see if I am. So how are you, like, like you're about to go in? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for Andrea right now. Thank you. I'm so scared. I saw Jay last night. He came over. Uh, we all went out to dinner, and uh, Victoria came over too. Cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're here. Hopefully, if everything goes smooth. I'm like scared. It's gonna go perfect. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. You just have to count backwards, and then you're like, before you hit zero, you'll be passed out. And then I'll wake up. 
<clears throat> and you have a new face and bandages all over it. Yeah. I'll look like a piece of poop for a couple of days. You'll just look like you got in a fight. It'll look cute. You're gonna a fight? Because, <laughs> like, you'll probably have a, a fight with a machete. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm just waking up, but I like cannot process the fact that this is the last time I'm gonna see you like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. yeah, I woke up when I looked in the mirror this morning. I was like, oh god. This is weird. I'm gonna look at myself the next day and it'll never be the same again. And I'm like, oh, this is a lot. I was gonna cry and then I saw tears in my mom's eyes and I was like, damn it, I'm gonna cry. <coughs> he's not coughing because of COVID, he's coughing because of other things. <coughs> Nice camera. <laughs> oh, thank Fancy. you. It's our friends. Um, so actually, I'm gonna have you change. Do you want him to just stay there? Or... That's my husband. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's fine. Okay, so you're good. Yeah. And so I'm gonna have you. Do you have any medals on you? Any piercing? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I took, I took my wedding ring off and I took my earrings out. Perfect. No piercing on the belly or anything mm -hmm. like that. But and so I'm gonna have you wear this um, gown. Okay. And opening will be on the front. Okay. And you can just, you don't have, you can tie them if you want. Um, okay. But I'm going to have you tie your hair. Uh-huh. Okay. Because we're going to take the pictures. Yeah. Okay, now, tilt chin all the way back. Okay, and then face straight. You don't have to tilt your head down. Quarter turn this way. Um, so you're gonna help her because if she's resting or sleeping, then you want to make sure she wakes up to take her um, antibiotic. Okay. So our goal is to prevent any risk for infection, and so that's why we want you to finish the entire bottle. So you have your oxycodone. Uh -huh. So oxycodone helps with pain. And so you have this available. You can take one to two tablets by mouth every four to six hours. So that's a machine to keep your body, warm up your body. Yeah. Apparently it's to make it easier for them. I'll be your anesthesia provider. Big day. Yeah. All right, we're going to take really good care of you and you're gonna do great okay, okay? Really so scared. I know you are I can tell by the look in your eyes yeah so but you know what that's normal okay um what can I do to help as soon as we get you into the operating room I can I'll put an IV in and at that point I'll give you something to help you relax you gonna be okay till then yeah I okay. think so all right just Try just to... trying not to cry because I, I cry oh. when I'm emotional sometimes you know what that's okay if you cry it's really, it's okay. You're yeah. gonna be fine. Okay. All right, Judy. So Dr. Jonathan will come in and see you and draw on your face and mm -hmm. discuss exactly what he's gonna do. Okay. After that, then Karina will come and get you again, take you back to the operating room. I'll get that IV in and uh, give you something to help you relax okay. ASAP. For sure. Um, get, put some monitors on you, give you a little oxygen to breathe. You're gonna take nice deep breaths and think happy thoughts. And while you're doing that, I'll give you additional medication. You're going to drift right off to sleep, completely asleep. After completely asleep, I'll put a little breathing tube down just to protect your airway and keep you asleep while Dr. John is working, okay? okay? You won't know about that tube being there, but it may leave a sore throat. Okay. Um, 
Nausea is the most common thing that happens after anesthesia. So did she put a patch on you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, where did she put it? On her way? chest. Okay, perfect. All right, and then I'll give you a couple other things in your IV to help prevent that. I'll give you pain medication throughout. He does a really good job of using numbing medication, but I'll give you additional pain medication in your IV so that when you wake up, you're pretty comfortable. You're going to be all wrapped up, yeah. probably a little disoriented. That's all normal. Yeah. Okay? For sure. All right, cutie. Um, it's going to be swollen, sore, stay away from mirrors. Yeah. You're going to be big. Yeah. Right? Considering all this forehead and such work is going to make this really big, but we're going to have a garment on to try to help keep some of that pressure down. Okay. okay? But the fact is, then we're going to do the nose, and then we're doing the lip, and you know, you're just yeah. going to be kind of everywhere. Yeah. Um, everybody's different in how much they experience the discomfort. Okay. Um, we'll have some. Yeah. Um, but you also be numb. Yeah. So the biggest thing with all the frontal stuff is going to just feel numb and feel really weird. Okay. Because um, it's going to go all the way back, right? Because we're going to make sure we're all set on what we're doing. We're going to advance the forehead, okay. or adva yeah, advance the hairline. Yes. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make an incision. Okay. And we're going to go back to move forward. We're going to use the end of time to hold that forward. Okay. Then we're going to release this forward. Okay. We're just going to then do the reduction of the forehead, and then we're going to elevate and do a little brow lift. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the nose. I'm going to do the lip lift. Then we're going to do the chin, the submentoplasty, where the liposuction and tightening of the muscle, and then finish with the uh, buckle fat pads. And that's okay. just the fat right here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right in the cheek area. Okay. It tends to try to make it, you know, yeah. narrow. Of course. Okay. So those are the things we're going to do. That's the order we're going to do them. Okay. All right. Talked about it basically. Just pretty much. Well, top, you know, going down to the bottom and then just finishing up. The reason intraorally, that's the most contaminated spot, so this yeah. is where we're going to try to keep last. Okay. Even though this whole procedure is a clean contaminated because we're going to be in your yeah. nose, we're going to be in your sinus, we're yeah. going to be kind of everywhere. Yeah. So that's going to be the biggest thing. Okay? okay. Uh, some of the sutures, I may have some staples when I go to mark you, you'll see there might be some staples in your hairline because uh -huh. i got to release this down here to get this forward. Uh -huh. And the hairline up here, I'm going to have some sutures that I think when we use ones that we have to cut out, it's better. It's less likely to leave little marks, like little red marks. Okay. So we're going to do that. Okay. okay. Under here will be resorbable. Yeah. Uh, same with intra oiling and the nose ones we can remove as well. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay. Um, that's going to be your position, kind of that. Uh, yeah, the 45 degree angle or whatever it was. Yeah. Just to try to reduce as much swelling as possible. Okay. Yeah. Are we seeing you tomorrow in Seattle? 10 o'clock, yeah. Perfect, okay. Um, we're going to kind of reduce a little bit of the uh, dressing, but uh -huh. we're still going to have one on. Yeah. Okay? All right. Okay. All right. Any, uh, any other questions? No, I'm okay. just ready for it to be over. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. You're ready for everything to be done. Okay, yeah. all right. So I'm going to start marking you, okay. and then uh, I'll talk you through that as we go along. Okay. okay. I'll have you take your mask and your, and your hat. The reason is, is because once we make this cut this way, the hair will grow through it, okay? Okay. So that's why it, it's going to be irregular because your normal hair is irregular. If it's straight across, it's going to look kind of funny, okay? Yeah. So now, the question is when we come into here, how much of this gets advanced, right? Uh -huh. Because we have the little temporal yeah. area here. So I'm going to come in like this, and then as we come here, do you have another pen for me, please? We're going to then extend this. I've got to come down this way, mm -hmm. where this is the part that gets stapled, okay? Because okay. we're not going to be removing any of this, okay. but this allows me access, okay? Okay. So this is kind of where the scalp is going to be. I think the hairline is like one of the biggest parts of this that Jeez, like really, hard. really causing a lot of dysphoria. Yeah. So if we can get this up to here, this would be great. Uh -huh. Okay. And most of that's going to be dependent upon how much we can move this back here. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be a combination. So this is going to come down into here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of mark a couple prominences here. Now. I'm going to reduce. I, mean, I was getting worried I was going to get that film. Because that helps me outline where that frontal sinus is, okay? Because this is what we 
going to do here. Right? I'm going to mm -hmm. release this for this to come up like that. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to come forward. Do you have a... Uh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Lead you, okay? Yeah. And I'm definitely hoping okay. we can get more than a centimeter, but if not, and I'm here's not two, so we'll mark it all the way down mm -hmm. to where I don't think we're going to get this far, but we shall see. Okay. Now these may end up being a combination of moving forward and moving up at the same time, mm -hmm. meaning we might be removing some of this tissue just from the fact of moving it up mm -hmm. right so it's going to be a combination so your your final brow line should end up being somewhere down in here yeah okay? and you're going to have those little endotines that are going to hold it yeah so this natural hairline because we're cutting here is going to be moving forward so we're going to try to keep some of that because if i <clears throat> if i cut here and i try to pull all this away you're going to lose hairline you see yeah so i'm going to try it's a combination because otherwise you're going to see the incision. You see, if I make it too far forward, you're going to see the incision. Yeah. So I have to keep it somewhat back. And then the goal is as we move this, I'm going to be trimming less over here. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, so we're going to kind of, we're going to kind of be trying to move this up into here. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Okay. Make sense? Yes. All right. Good. All right. So now I'm going to look over here. Overdo it, but I want to just get get it to be like this. Right? Yeah, because then, then it'll kind of make the jaw look a little bit more defined, so it's not so mm -hmm. gone. Yeah, exactly. And so this is what's going to help us when we tuck this in here. Mm -hmm. This is where that incision is to give us room, because that implant's going to fill this out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because it kind of looks like my chin is like crooked uh -huh. a little yes, bit. Yes, correct. Like it may still it. it may still look a little bit yeah. like that because an implant isn't going to correct. Yeah. Asymmetries. It's going to correct mostly the anterior and posterior position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then this is just where your muscles are. Make sure I'm okay. Okay. And in fact, I don't need to mark that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's just intraoral. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Most of the work is going to be all up here, mm -hmm. getting this forward, mm -hmm. and then tactically getting all this done, and then softening it. Mm -hmm. Just contouring everything else. So what exactly is that plate thing that they're that you're gonna mm -hmm. do? What is what is that? So right well here, um do you have the photos? Yes. Um, did the did the films come up on that? They um. should have this down and set it back to mm -hmm. soften that. Okay? All right? There won't be as much of a shadow there all the time. That's correct. Yeah. That's gonna be this this is what we're trying to reduce. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Okay, perfect. So that this is all going to kind of be set back, and this slope is going to be this way, and there's going to be a softer uh, transition to the temporal region. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. All right. Our biggest challenge is going to be the temporal recession. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other question about anything at this point? Uh, I think I think I'm good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take good care of you back there. Thank you. It's gonna be a while. Can't tell you how long it's gonna take, but we'll take our time. Okay? Yeah. All right. Just expect all day. All right. Okay. All right. All right. One step at a time. All right. Thank See you. you back there. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and grab this from you. And I'll grab the purple thing from you. Should we wait here? Like. That. And I'll just give you an update. Um, but I have the 
Thank you.